Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where's my brethren all around the world watching this video? Hope you're having a great day today. As you're tuning in, make sure you do yourself a damn favor and hit the subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. Now, this is a fight. I wanted to talk about a fight that took place a couple weeks ago. I haven't really been on YouTube uh, over the last couple weeks, so um, I really wanted to get my thoughts on this fight because, um, first of all, it was a good fight. I think the fans were kind of robbed of seeing what would have happened uh, in the latter stages of this fight. And a particular fighter was robbed in this fight. And the fight we're going to talk about is Anthony Durrell versus Abney Durham fighting for the vacant WBC super middleweight title. That was over at Minnesota at the Armory a couple weeks ago. Um, first of all, let me just say a good fight for both fighters. You know, um, you know, you had two guys in there trying to do two completely different things. You know, you had Anthony Durrell, the longer craftier more athletic boxer trying to you know control the distance and you have Abneil Durham the guy who had a the clear advantage of power um trying to get on the inside of Durrell and break him down systematically going to the body going up top to the head and just and just you know kind of trying to wear him down with with, 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 with accumulation shots and, and, you know, to my surprise, you know, because Abney Durham, you know, a lot of us know Abney from his fight in the first round of the World Boxing Super Series last year when he fought Chris Eubank Jr. And Chris Eubank Jr. sparked Abney. Like, Abney had no answer for Chris Eubank Jr. But since then, um, Abney has taken a couple of fights. So he fought, fought a couple of times, I believe it was in Germany and once in Turkey or something like that. I, I know he had like two fights in between that, in, in between the Eubank fight and the fight with uh Darrell, he had two fights and he's been working really hard you know for for a period of time he was training here in my backyard in south florida at stacy mckinley's gym under stacy mckinley and then uh that didn't work out for whatever reason so then he went to uh i think he's training with sugar hill at the cronk gym uh somewhere at the cronk something like that but uh he he he, he fought a fight that worked for him you know with against Darrell. Darrell and Dur and yo durham they spent a lot of time in this fight you know toe to toe exchanging in the center of the ring, uh, throwing short shots. You know, Darrell was getting some good body shots in as well. But to my surprise, Abney Durham was a more improved fighter in this fight, just night and day difference from the Eubank fight. A lot better in this fight. Uh, we saw a more refined version of Abney Durham. We saw Abney Durham who came to win this night. We saw Abney Durham who was making a bid to make boxing history. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, BT, what boxing history could Abney Durham possibly make it. Well, I'll tell you what kind of box history he could have made that could have made that night if he would have won. He was making a bid to become the first ever champion um, from Turkey, the first ever Turkish boxing champion. And, um, you know, I thought he was winning the fight. I thought he was winning the fight. You know, it, it was just one of those fights where, you know, you had a guy in uh, Dabney who was coming in a lot. So there were head clashes. You had Durrell. You know, the Durrells are not strangers to fights like with controversy. You know, Andre and Anthony are always in fights like with, that that have some sort of controversy, whether it's uh, getting punched in the balls, whether it's their their uncles punching out their opponents. It's always some controversy with the Durrells, and and, and you could add this to the Durrell uh, list of controversial fights because this was controversial. Uh, I believe it was the ninth or the tenth round where they. Basically, once the scorecards because of the head clashes, the doctors would not allow Durrell to continue. So what wound up happening was they went to the cards. It was a technical decision. Uh, two judges scored. Or two, two judges scored for Anthony Durrell. One judge had it pretty wide for Alvin Neil Durham. Um, and Dur and, and you know, Durham was you know another loss in his record. And, and this is a fight that he had spent years building up back to because he had, had took two intermediate fights after the. Um, Eubank, devastating loss, Eubank, fourth round stoppage. And now he's built himself up back, back up to this point. And um, he fought very well. You know, I was very, very pleased to see him, you know, landing and winning so many exchanges. Like, he won a lot of, ex of these exchanges against Darrell. And I thought he had the, the cleaner work, the more effective work. Um, he was dictating more of the fight to me. And uh, he was robbed on this night. And it wasn't a surprise because, you know, when I watch boxing, right, and, you know, that's why I seldom ever get mad at robberies because, 
you know, I'm just numb to it at this point. And, 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 and I, I, hate, I don't like the fact that I, I feel this way, but it's the truth. Um, when it's a close fight, you always ask yourself, who is the more politically connected fighter? And if, if, if you can answer that question honestly and wholeheartedly, pick that guy to win a close fight and like nine and a half times out of ten, it'll be that guy. And that's what I did here. I knew, you knew Anthony Gerald was the more politically connected fighter, being, being the PBC guy, and uh, he was going to get the decision, and that's what happened. So it's highly unfortunate. It, it really is because Omni fought very well. Um, and to be, to be truthful, you know, uh, I think Omni at this, at this stage of his career is, more, is better suited to be competitive against one of the other champions in the division than Anthony Durrell is. Anthony Durrell, I mean, this is the same Anthony Durrell, you know, he's getting up there in age. He's lost a step or two. Um, you know, with a guy who at Omni's level, he, uh, if, he were, if he was as good as some people think he is, he would have done the business and, and outboxed him. But Omni was able to press the action, sustain the action, and win the majority, the lion's share of their exchanges. And and he won this fight to me. So uh, from what I was reading, from what I was reading about Omni, that that uh, he, he basically filed it, an appeal to the WBC. Let me pull it up right here. To the WBC. And he wants a rematch. And I, I think he deserves a rematch because how the hell you give a guy a world title shot and a guy goes there and he fights his heart out and and then a guy wins on, on a technical decision and you're going you to let that guy move on. No, no, no. If they need a rematch. They could do it again. I, I was It was a good fight. It was a good sustained action from both fighters. Um, and if Anthony Durrell is worth his weight and salt as a fighter at this point in his career, he will be Abneil Durham. Abneil Durham should be afforded that chance because – Head clashes. I mean, it, it, it's just not a good outcome, and, and 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 I think they really did an injustice to him here. So, um, just wanting my thoughts out there on, on that fight and what happened. Um, and if anything does happen with developments as to a rematch or whatnot, I'll definitely be talking about it uh, in, a, in, a, in an upcoming video. Um, so yeah, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below about Abneil Durham and his fight with um, Anthony Durham. If you had a chance to watch, did, did, did who did you have winning before the fight was stopped due to the headbutts? Uh, I think Abneil Durham was robbed. Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of my videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding. So until next time, take care, guys.